Welcome back to the Arca Boat Shop. My name is Rod, and uh, this is going to be episode two in sort of the quick little uh, series of videos on building this little uh, six foot kayak model. I now have two coats of epoxy on here. I'm going to scuff sand this and add two more today. But uh, this video will show you how we got to this point before rolling it over and working on the deck. So let's get to working on it. To be authentic, I'm actually going to put some inside stems in here because I really don't know how I'm going to have the ends of the strips come together. They're very small, little finger joints like that, or mitering the ends. Too complicated. All I'm doing is putting some CA glue onto the strip. got the first one glued right to the end form itself so almost these forms other than the ones in the open cockpit area are actually going to stay in the boat and then I'm going to just spray the mating piece so these are extra wide I can just trim down the edges as necessary and shape so that the strips will actually be glued to this inside stem Just trim off the end there, maybe a little down the bottom at the bow end. We'll carry on to the other one. So the stern. Next, I'm going to glue a few blocks onto the bow and stern form because I need to be able to glue the, this to that and I've just cut away some of the paper so that that can happen. First I'm going to glue these onto the end form. So you'll notice that I've cut away a portion of this because form number 10 is going to go on the bow side but the end form sticks out the back so this will be able to just slip right down there. We'll line it up on the center lines and horizontal lines and then uh, make sure that this is uh, straight down the center line this way. I'm going to do that for both ends and we are ready to start building. So the last thing to do is put this little support in here. I've cut a little wedge into it or a slot into it. And what I'm going to do is I am going to glue this onto the block, but at the same time holding the end form or positioning the end form so that it is straight down the center line. And that looks to be about it right there. So that's going to stop it from going uh, back and forth, side to side port to starboard, however you want to describe it. We're going to do the same for the bow. This block is going to keep it from going from side to side, but there is a possibility this can come up and down. So uh, now I'm just going to drop some glue down in there. Let it get down in the crack. And I'm going to hit this with a bit of hardener and a little bit of spray where I think it should sit right there now, a lot of these pieces hopefully we'll be able to knock them out shouldn't be too hard to do once the hull is done and uh, epoxy coated these pieces should easily just break out so that is pretty solid it's not going anywhere we are ready to do a final uh, setup, I'm checking center lines, which is vertical center line and horizontal center line, which I'm using the uh, water line, the designated water line as the horizontal uh, uh, center line. So I need to shape the stems just as I would in a full size boat. This is a little bit fragile. I have taken my small little apron plane to it. But it's a bit wobbly and uh, you know some of the glue even is holding this down has come loose. But I'm close so now I'm just going to do a bit of sanding. As long as we got a good mating surface, purchased uh, surface for the strips to come through, 
and glue to this little inside stem, we're going to be good. And once I get, you know, four or five strips on either side, this will become much more of a solid structure. Might have been easier to do this off the boat before or off the form before, but again, it doesn't have to be a perfect fit, just enough to hold it. This will all be capped with an outside stem, the same way I built the inside stem. I'll put some nice little hard mahogany, hard hardwood laminated over the outside surface. So. what it looks like inside the boat where nobody can see, no one will know. Starting to put some planks on this little model. Uh, I've cut up my strips. They are, I don't know, 3 16 by half an inch or whatever. The edges are a bit rough, so I'm planing down one edge square. Just using my apron plane here. Set kind of thick actually, so I don't have to take a bunch of shavings off. And then on the other side, because we're going around a curvature, I'm going to just slightly tip my plane outwards, take two shavings, so we've got a bit of a bevel on that edge, and I'm just going to bring her down and see how well a fit we have. Now these strips are long enough, there's no doubt about that. So I did the first strip here, I actually cut it in half to try and laminate those two together in the curve. The second strip I brought up a little higher, I'll fill these gaps on the ends later. So I got a pretty good fit through there with it, yep, yeah, it's pretty tight. Now we just start adding some glue without trying to get my fingers glued together. So the, I start in the middle and I'm going to glue to the bulkheads for sure. A little glue, I don't need a lot. I'm just going to dab a bit along here and onto there. Keep the bottle out of the way of the uh, catalyst, making sure I've got enough hanging out both ends. Let's go about right there. And then, as I hold it down here in several spots, I'm just going to add the catalyst and let that thing set up. It hardens pretty fast. Sometimes my fingers, I gotta keep moving my fingers. My fingers end up being glued to something. So I'm gluing to all the forms except for the two between the bulkheads. Maybe a little bit gonna get squeeze out, but I'll be able to knock those out later. So with that in place, then I just add a bit more glue along here. Some to the forms a little maybe. I'm using uh, cyanoacrylate extra thick. I just don't want it running everywhere. It's a bit of a flimsy structure right now until I can get a few more uh, strips onto here. Now I just forgot to put any in behind here for uh, gluing to the stem. So if I'm fast enough, you put it on, throw the spray in, and hold it in there for uh, 10 seconds or so, should do it. One would think that these tiny little strips will uh, bend quite easily, and, and they do in a sense, 
but uh, even though they are only 3 16 thick and we're building but we're building on a smaller scale it looks like I still have to maybe pre-bend some of these tiny little strips in the very ends here with some heat I'll go and do the other end. I ended up with a heck of a small little sliver of wood left to go into that last little piece and all I'm going to do is pour some glue into there. Slide that in without sticking my fingers to it. Before I can add an outer stem to here, which is just going to be some very thin laminations glued on individually, I needed to fill the small gaps here with the wedge pieces, we call them sort of cheater strips, between the curvature of the shear strip and then the level strips that went on after that. <clears throat> it's all done, so now it's time to start shaving down these ends and cleaning up this hull ready for some epoxy. I had a whole bunch of this uh, walnut, Peruvian walnut, lying about in some thin strips. It probably would have been better if it was a little bit thinner, but I'm not going to cut a nice piece of wood up for it. So I'm going to use these scrap pieces and uh, I'm able to actually heat bend these around. On the stern end here, it's got much more of a curve than the bow. May not have to do any heat on the bow, but let's just see how this works out. He keep heating this up, eventually I just feel the wood soften. And then it starts to move. Oh, that one broke. A little bit too much effort on that one. On the bow end here, it's not as sharp a curve as on the stern, but I'm still going to need a few heat, a bit of heat, and I'm actually going to try and do them all at once here. Now, if this doesn't work and they break, well, we just cut some more. Not a big deal. This way also, if the outer one breaks, that's fine. It's kind of sacrificial. Wood's pretty warm, but I can get all four of them down there. Just gonna hang on to this for five minutes or so and let it cool. Time to start cleaning up this hull. Uh, first thing is all the little blocks of uh, the CA glue. They're very hard. I don't want to take my plane to it right now, so I'm just gonna scrape. Trying to hit the high spots, trying to get the glue off.
that was the first go around of sanding with 80 grit. It's still a little bit rough. There's some marks on here, but I'm still kind of curious to see sort of what this is going to look like all sanded and coated in epoxy. So just going to do a wet down, get rid of some of the uh, glue lines, and uh, then I got a final sand. I'll work my way up to maybe uh, 220 on this one before coating it with the resin. There'll be no glass on this, not necessary. It's just going to hang on the wall. But I'm really liking the dark rich colors of that cedar. So we're just going to have to let that dry and wait for the second sanding. Following initial sanding 80 grit on the orbital sander to really smooth it out, I'm just going to mostly sand this by hand now and using sort of feel, maybe a bit of fairing. I don't really know if it really needs that much fairing. We're not putting this boat in the water. Uh, so I mean I want to get as smooth as possible. Then I'm going to wet it down one more time and then uh, I will do the final sanding with 120. Final sanding is all complete on the little uh, scale model kayak here, ready to just put a coat of epoxy on. I'm just going to simply roll it on. I'm actually just going to put my roller right into the cup. Roll it right on. I've got a piece of plastic down on the table just to protect any drips and so on. Just want to get a nice even coat. Let the wood soak it up. Kind of just slopping it on there to start. That's going to conclude this episode. I now have four coats of epoxy on here. It's still tacky. I'm going to let it harden overnight. The next episode, we'll be able to remove it from the little strong back, roll it over, and start working on the deck. So thank you very much for watching and being part of uh, my video series on this little uh, kayak build. If you want to stay involved, uh, consider becoming a subscriber. Maybe do us a favor and hit that like button. And we'll see you next time. Thank you very much for watching.